Greetings everyone from, where am I? Where am I again? Rossford, Ohio. Alrighty folks, as I mentioned on the previous episode, I nabbed myself a run off of the reload board. And so this is what we've got going on. I am hooked to a 39 foot fifth wheel, shipping weight 13,456, GVWR 16,910. Picking up in Rossford, Ohio, delivering to West Coxaxe, New York. It is a sold unit. And I have no paperwork, no keys, but we'll do a walk around of the outside of it and then we'll hit the road. I've already submitted my pre-trip pictures and I haven't done the exit call thingy yet but I'm moments away from that right after I catch up my logbook. I had to get in and warm up. It's a little cold outside. Cold and breezy. It's like 43 degrees slight breeze so um, it makes you not want to stay out there too long. But we have heat in this truck that we have. Yeah, I forgot to do a walk around and check on my lights. Oh, there's interior lights on. Forklift guy assured me they turned all the lights off. He's like, yeah, that doesn't have its own battery. And I went in and I lowered the TV and shut all the lights off. He lied. Okay, maybe he didn't lie. Maybe he just missed them. But it's all right. It's cold. I don't plan on shutting the truck off, so I shouldn't run out of battery it's looking good all right now I'm ready to kind of get inside the truck and get comfortable and shed all of these layers so I stopped in Perrysville Ohio to fuel and my battery powered heated jacket will be denied no longer. It's cold. But we have heat in the truck. Good morning everyone from Harbor Creek, Pennsylvania, Erie. So the highway signs last night Winter conditions expected, something along that line. Yep. And uh, it was getting pretty nasty last night. And when I stopped, I still had an hour I could have made it down the road, but it was just bad. And I'm like, okay, I need to get to that truck stop. I need to get to that TA in, well, te we're technically in Harper Creek, but Anyway, and uh, we had quite an accumulation of snow, and uh, there was a big piece of equipment just plowing snow and off the parking lot, and uh, as soon as he swiped a path where I could get out of the way, I took it, and uh, I parked next to some other, other people who were stopped also, but here, let me show you what we got going on.
with the current road conditions. I'm not sure if I'm going to make it to the customer before they close at 5 today. Um, it's a six hour drive and I can be there without stopping at about 2.30. That's not realistic, not with the girls. So I'm hoping that the roads are good enough that I can make good time and still get to the customer by um, before they close at 5. If not, I kind of already mentally prepared that I was going to deliver it Monday anyway. But it would be nice to be out for underneath it over the weekend, so we shall see. I'm um, going to have some breakfast. I got bacon and eggs at Subway this morning, which I'll share with the girls. I didn't get them any chicken. I just, I'll share some of my bacon with them. And uh, I'll see how it goes. So stay tuned. Alrighty, folks. I have made it to West Coxsackie, New York. I've been here a couple times before, and I didn't realize where I was coming until I'm here. I actually had till 6 o'clock, but that's okay. I got here in plenty of time. Check-in was real quick. And I've already submitted my post-trip pictures, and I'm out of here. It's about time for me to do a, another reset, so I'm going to go find somewhere to hang out for a couple of nights. I don't know if I'll get an Airbnb. I kind of sort of should. I don't really want to spend the money, but I kind of sort of should because I need to do laundry and just get out of the truck for a while. But this part's done, so uh, yeah, thank you guys. Thank you guys for coming on the journey with me, and we'll catch you on the next episode. And just remember, guys, it's all about the perspective.